Yeah, I was born uh, in a little south of, west of a little town of Ladder, South Carolina, on a farm. I was raised on a farm. My daddy was a sharecropper. <laughs> we were poor people. <laughs> and I was the oldest boy, so I was the main plow hand for my daddy. I, I started plowing by the time I was 10 years old. <laughs> Well, I was talking about getting in the Ragnar Army. And uh, them guys, and I knew a lot of them guys over in Dillon County, so I was from Ladder. They was gonna go, trying to get up some more men, and uh, so I, I decided to go with them. And on February the 10th, 1941, we got orders to come down here to Camp Stewart. Yeah. Well, it wasn't nothing much. It mostly dirt roads <laughs> and woods. <laughs> we called it Swamp Stewart <laughs> because it's close to the swamp. <laughs> I was in the 107th down here, the Coast Artillery outfit. We had to live tough and we didn't have no good beds to sleep in or nothing like that. Of course, each man carried a little half a tent, you know, we call them pup tents. But after we got used to sleeping on the ground like a fox, we just used that little piece of tough tent for a ground cloth for a blanket and just sleep right on the ground like a fox. <laughs> In fact, they had a big meeting down here right after Pearl Harbor. You know, I was in the 107th, and our captain, all the commanding officers had to go to that meeting. And they come back and tell us about it. And uh, at Camp Stewart, we call it Camp Stewart here. And he come, he come back after that meeting, and he said, fellas, said, our outfit don't have orders to go anywhere right at this time. But said, I got orders from the government to get 50 men ready to go anywhere in the world they were needed. Where were they sent us in the North Atlantic was a secret place. And uh, it didn't want nobody to know we was even there. And that's where we, they sent us from here. Uh, to the uh, island of Newfoundland in the North Atlantic. We so, uh, set up anti-aircraft guns and we were going to try to be able to shoot them down before they got here. <laughs> they called us all together and said they were going to start giving us a discharge at anybody that wanted one. And, uh, so I told him I believe I'd take mine. <laughs> I'd had enough. 